Hey, what's up YouTube? Matt from the Glove Bros coming to you guys with another edition of the Glove Bros Rants. In this video, I will be showing you guys um, my Rawlings Pro Preferred DCT, which is now officially up for sale or trade. And uh, you guys were going to figure out why as soon as I show you my video tonight about my latest pickup I got on Saturday. So, uh. oh, excuse me. Um, so drop some offers. Um, Mostly looking for cash, not cash. Uh, Rawlings, 11.7 to 12 and a quarter gloves. Um, better condition, the better. This is um, a limited edition glove, I would say. Um, it was a Baseball Express exclusive, uh, the colorway. Still in amazing shape. Look how clean these logos are. ID number 726. Just, I'm going to focus in so you guys can actually see that. 724, actually, I apologize. Rawlings Pro S DCT JA. Um, so yeah, they don't even make these anymore. You can't find them anywhere. There's none on YouTube. I checked. So it's really nice. I'll actually drop it. Instead of just a little bit. Um, but I mean, it, it is um, used, but in amazing shape. Finger pad still is perfect. Oh, should I drop the softball? It's all right. Um, so yeah, the rant is going to be about um, glove accounts that have more than three owners um so as you guys know obviously me and marco both run this account uh youtube and we both run the instagram but we are actually brothers i think we're the only people in the globe world who are actually brothers not just friends like we're actually really birth brothers um i'm totally fine with people having multiple owners of accounts so don't get this twisted just one of those things i just wanted to talk about um, I encountered an account the other day, I was just looking through Instagram, my explore page, and saw an account that has five owners. Why wouldn't one account have five owners? Why would you guys not just each make your own glove account, or, like, have two guys each, um, in accounts or something like that? I mean, but five owners on one account, that to me is just sketchy. I usually don't, and I don't want to say trust, because trust is a strong word, I usually don't trust any account that has more than two owners. Most of the time. Because usually those accounts have nothing but problems. And um, what I mean is there was that Glove Trader 2 thing that happened. Glove Trader 2 scammed um, somebody out of like three gloves. Uh, 2.0, that was it. 2.0 was his name. Well, their name. Um, I don't know if you guys remember them or know them or whatever. But you know the story. He scammed um, a person out of like two or three gloves, something like that. And then all the other owners on the page claim that it wasn't them. It was the one person. And they do, they absolved him of the account. They, they got rid of him. See, to me, when you make an account with somebody, I don't know if you... I would never make an account with somebody I don't know. I would have to at least know the person. Be like a teammate with them or something. I would actually want to know that they were trustworthy. I mean, a lot of Marco's teammates... Some of his teammates collect, but not to the scale like we are. They have like two or three nice gloves. Um, they've asked to be on this account, stuff like that. Um, I, I won't let people, um, Marco doesn't want to either. I just think that, um, this account's just for us. And, um, even if I did, I do trust his teammates, um, and stuff like that. But it's just, I feel like if you're going to start a glove account with somebody, you should really trust them because you're putting your name out there. And if the person was to get in trouble, they could just throw you under the bus just as simply, um, so yeah, I'm just, I don't get why people have, um, accounts like that. It just doesn't make any sense to me. If you want to have your own glove account, just run it yourself. And I don't think it's that hard running a glove account where you need someone to really help you. I just think in me and Marco's case, we have a little special of a case because we are obviously brothers, like I said, and in our name, obviously the glove bros. Um, so yeah, obviously, I mean, no one could scam. Neither of us could scam, even though we would never... Because obviously we live in the same house, so we couldn't um, scam because everything comes through us and we would watch each other, stuff like that. But people, I know some accounts have, they're, they're together and they don't even live in the same state or stuff like that. That's fine. I just think with more than three people on an account, the person should probably just branch off and do their own thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, uh, also, guys, drop some more rant um, ideas, stuff like that. I just saw that and I just wanted to talk about it. Um, I'll be coming up uh, with another video tonight about my latest pickup. Um, sorry, I haven't been ranting as much. Um, I won't be posting on the weekends, guys. Almost never. Um, 
the weekends are like my time to um, relax. I work during the week. I go to school. It's my time to spend with my girlfriend, stuff like that. I always still post on Instagram. You guys know that. That only takes a second to post a picture on Instagram. Most of the time I have the pictures preloaded and then I just post them up whenever I want to. Um, but, <clears throat> sorry. But as far as Instagram videos, probably not going to be releasing them on the weekends. Um, at least for a while. If we were to get a bigger and bigger, we got to like, probably close to like a thousand followers. I might post on the weekends. <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm a little under the weather. It's uh, been pretty cold in Jersey here lately. So, with the weather shifting, um, I'm getting sick. But... Yeah, so um, when we get to a thousand followers, then I'll post on the weekends. But even still, that's still a lot to ask, guys. But I'm glad you guys are loving the videos. Comment, like, subscribe, and then uh, till next time or till later tonight. Have a good day.